Okay, I got the key. And we're all good. We are all good. Use the key on the side door. The side door that was lo Liliana, bye! You know, I really like those shoes. Bye. It was really nice seeing you, even though it's only for a brief moment and you have no idea who I am. Chateau Hein. <laughs> I think you were a little bit too quiet, Hawk. Why don't you scream a little louder? Oh! What in the name? There's no need for you to die today, friend. Just move on. You never saw us. Ooh! Ruthless. You could have walked away. Is something wrong? I didn't want to kill him. I've seen you kill several men. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. Enough. We're here for the heart. I'd like to do this quietly. Alert as few guards as possible. What do you think? Let's do it quietly. We shouldn't get into fights if we don't have to. I'm glad you agree. Let's go. That generally isn't a thing that I have control over because... People tend to come by very this often. This part of the chateau will be crawling with guards. We'll have to try our best to keep out of sight. Or we could try to create distractions, provided you're good at throwing stones. And if all else fails, we'll give them a sharp knock on the head. Right, of course. Just try not to do it all the time. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Be quick, but careful. Chateau Hain. Situated on the western verge of the Vinmark Mountains is one of the many estates of the illustrious de Montfort family of Orlais. Duke Prosper de Montfort vacations at the estate frequently, particularly during wyvern hunting season. The structure was built late in the Black Age for Lord Norbert de la Haine, whose treasonous schemes to seize power in the free marches led to a call for his execution. Lord Norbert escaped to what was then Fortress Hain and barricaded himself within. The siege lasted a hundred days. Eventually, Antiven Crow slit the Lord's throat while he slept. The estate's scandalous past left it unoccupied for long thereafter. When the Fourth Blight ravaged the Free Marches, Fortress Hain served as a garrison for the Grey Wardens. The Wardens dug a hollow into the mountain's interior. When Darkspawn attacked Kirkwall and Cumberland, citizens of both cities took refuge in the caves, which came to be known as the Retreat. After the Wardens left victorious, Fortress Hain was presented to Sir Gaston de Montfort, a chevalier of Orlais. The building was converted from military keep to pleasure palace and rechristened Chateau Hain. Okay, I'll try to be quiet and all that. Get rid of that. Hmm. Distract draws a guard's attention to a specific area. Use it now to move him to the other side of the room. Okay, we're trying to get over there, so we want to distract them over here. Wait. Oh, distract is this. Okay. What was that? Hiding in the shadows will cloak Hawk, unless if they're really close or already pursuing. The wine of Chateau Hain! Don't you wish you could have been invited to the Duke's party? Oh, everything is so splendid here and so Orlesian! The decorations, the company, the food, and just thinking about the wine sends me into a giddy fit. The Duke spares no expense, truly. I hear he has it brought in from Val Chevin just for these parties. He has whole crews of thick, simple-minded Ferelden to carry his barrels of wine up the mountain. And they're too stupid to know that what they carry is worth more than they earn in a year. It's so funny. Fifi and I actually saw the laborers. One rolled down the mountain and crashed to the bottom. It was such a shame. I almost died seeing all the gorgeous red seeping into the ground. Or maybe that was from the laborer. Well, whatever. Wow. Pleasant people. How do I know where the shadows are? Just in general, like, these parts. Did you hear about the Duke's meeting with the Empress? I never listen to court gossip. That'll get you killed, my friend. Do they come back? Here, let's 
Oh, she scared the crap out of me. Can't speak now. I have too much to do preparing the banquet and Leopold's dinner. You don't want to see her with and go hungry. If you need something, ask one of the servants. Well, why are you still bothering me? Oh, I don't want to kill her. There's a problem in the courtyard. Something about a poisoned comtesse. The servants were looking for you. A maker's breath. What have those useless elves done now? I suppose I'd better deal with this. She was completely okay with seeing me here. Hard to stomach. The Duke's wyvern's food is prepared in the kitchen. Perhaps there's a way to contaminate it. An interesting entry in the cook's journal that might help with contaminating Leopold's food. Tried a new seasoning for the crepes this morning. A bunch of loot fisk, a few slices of old cheese, and a lot of navet. Gave the Duke the runs all day. Note to self, not so much navet next time. This one. Oh my god, what does that mean? Am I... <laughs> I'm just changing the number, but where do I actually, like, commit to this change? Do you wanna... What is happening? These numbers are just showing up, but... This new mixture won't sit well with the Duke's pet wyvern. Now add it to the food. And we need a little bit of everything. The food is here. I think Leopold's going to be an unhappy wyvern after that. Well, that's not my problem, is it? You guys can go deal with a wyvern while we get your jewel or whatever. There's a guy reading. Wait! Medallion. A pirate medallion. I wonder if Isabella knows anything about it. I'm gonna ask her later. Where are we just gonna leave them? They're not coming in with us. Be on the lookout for others. Alright. Cracked snowflake obsidian. Incapacitate. You can search his body. Oh, I gotta wait. I gotta be closer. He's just staring at the wall. What? <laughs> but if someone finds him fainted, that'll be a problem. A key to God knows where. I gotta level up, but I'm still injured. Really? Oh no, because the level up was from something else. Fortitude zero. Zero. What's the matter? I don't want to talk about it. Let's simply find the jewel and be done with this. She has some aversion to kill. Anything. Bugger Prosper's vault if someone got past. <laughs> they get back up after a while. We have to be quick. The shadows thing actually makes sense since I'm a rogue and all. All set. Here, let's move. Oh, you're scaring me every time. The the way you do that. I like this. An actual sneaking mission and all that. So there's one guy that's going all around. Skepticism. Mark of bravery. Probably want this guy to look elsewhere. What was that scrabbling noise? That was not the right guy. So this might be a problem. Can I do it before that guy comes? I need to wait for it to cool down to hurry up what was that we're good 
Did we want to go? I don't think I want to check there. Uh, what does Babette want now? Her tea was too cold. Oh, of course. It's either too hot or too cold. Or her bed's either too soft or too lumpy. Nothing is ever just right with her. What a bitch. Annoying. People don't like you, they're not gonna work hard. I just wanna see... Okay, nothing here. That's all I wanted to check. No one's seeing me here, right? Those ladies, aren't they just invited here? They're not even... Here, let's move. Oh, jeez. Every time. Uncertainty. In uncertainty. Find infinite possibility. An old Orlesian saying. It shouldn't be much further. But which side do we want to go? There's a medallion if I keep going. Okay, there are guards here. I can't do that. Are you serious? Not going to happen. And we gotta go get the medallion first. Or uh, the jewel. You didn't try the cheese, did you? Are you joking? It tests of despair. I'm not a madman. I feel like I would want to try it just to for just to say I've tried it. Bust of the outlaw bearded beast. What in this fearsome visage appeals to us? What virtue can this otherwise uncouth and generally suspect creature inform? Raw, fiercely bearded aggression, not so much carved as inflicted by the chisel. Common humor claims the whole figures are carved, then sundered to the bust, then limbs used to beat the form from the next sculptor's block. Examples are common and deliberately crude, not in claim to be an accurate representation of a specific person, and the name is irrelevant, often stolen from the fears of the day. So if it is not the honoring of a villain turned folk hero, what is left to discern? What does this say about the manners of court? That beneath is an affectation for such unfettered and brutal images of strength. What is hidden by this beard? <sighs> Musings on beards. Okay, I that's very nice, but I'm... I've got bigger problems to worry about right now. I don't think I can do that. What are you doing? What do you mean? What do you mean? You mean I gotta go around? We gotta go to where the guards are? On purpose? Not to worry. I already have an escape route planned out. If we follow behind a dude, should be fine. Wait, does he get me through the wall? Because you know the redness kind of peeks through the wall a little bit. Is this really... Uh, this doesn't seem like anything. The doors were locked. Did I miss a key? Cursed what? Oh shit! No harm done. Oh. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's so nice of you. I thought we were gonna have to fight. Can we just try knocking the dude out? Oh, when they talk. Uh-oh. When they talk, that means they've noticed stuff. Is that guy gonna care about his friend? I don't hear any protesting. Come this way. Didn't see anything. Bugger Prosper's vault if someone got past. Balcony key. Anxiety. Heavy shield. Immunity to critical hits. <laughs> Look at my pose right here, my god. 
Oh, it's restricted to me only. I guess I could try it out. And the Warden's promise might not even actually be that great. But it's a, it's a ring that the Wardens gave me. Oh yeah, I'm not a Warden here. I almost forgot. I do like the mana regeneration. Something like that? Yeah. Skepticism. Oh, this is also for me only. Anxiety. Skepticism. Some kind of a set? I guess so. Well, we'll try it out. Master Wy Wyvern's Hunter's Belt. Actually, not sure whether this one's better or mine. The percentages on the Primeval Belt. Well, we'll see. Go, 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 go. War. Military communique. Heartless slaves? All set. Oh, we're back. We're back here. But with the balcony key now. Which hopefully opens this right here. That should do it. You drop the pie. I'm sorry, monsieur. It's all squashed and one of the hounds took a bite of it. It's really not that bad. Just put it back on the plate and cover it up with some gravy. Wow. Ew. Who did you serve that to? Hopefully I didn't eat too much of that, huh? Try not to be seen. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. A library of distinction. It was with no small flair that Duke Prosper de Montfort offered a home to the exiled Esme de Jolie's considerable library of social graces, including the ever-growing volumes of courtly prominence, so carefully logged by the dedicated scholars of Her Majesty's intimate circle. It was an act of charity to a former enemy that, while earning a considerable influence, was no small expense of delivery. De Montfort downplayed these elements with customary charm, insisting that he accepted this burden with the increase in status firmly second among his considerations. It is an honor to be honored when literary lineage is the true benefactor. The Jolie can rest well knowing that I hold his treasure tomes where none shall harm or read them. If he is allowed to enroach upon or legion territory at some distant time, perhaps he can petition to visit them. But you're not even letting people read it? What's the point of a book if you're not going to let people read? This is some forbidden library. Nobody should be here. We're getting closer. Take it easy. Hey. Not to worry. I already have an escape route planned out. Lady... Amandine Duval. Arrived at the court of Emperor Quarantine, aged only 15, and by all accounts took it by storm. Her bright gold hair, expressive eyes, and graceful mannerisms endeared her to all. The Emperor's sister, Lady Charlotte, wrote, Little Amandine is a true delight. Such sparkling wit, and oh, those dainty feet flitting across the ballroom. She is spring come upon our tired court. This adoration did not last long, however. Not a year after her arrival, little Amandine became enchanted with a bard who taught her swordplay, amongst other things. Being young and nimble, Amandine took the blades like a fish to water. Seduced by the life of romance and high adventure, she ran away from court dressed as a boy. In the years that followed, 
MND became a sailor, a highway robber, and a courtesan. Once she was betrothed to the emperor's cousin. At the age of 44, Amandine entered into a cloister. She remained there till the end of her life and died a penitent. Just goes to show that riches, having riches isn't the life that everybody wants. Some people want something a little bit different. Portrait of the Dowager. The Orlesians have a saying, you must dance with the Dowager if you want to play the game. To a foreigner, this might sound like some sort of proverb. In fact, Dowager Lady Mantian has been one of the most influential members of the Imperial Court for over 30 years, and nobody advances in the game without her favor. The rumors surrounding her are many. She was Emperor Florian's mistress, she was Florian's assassin, she placed Empress Selene on the throne. She once killed a rival with only harsh words, she rules Orlais from the shadows. One thing is certain, however, if you must have the best society in Orlais, ask a dance of the Dowager. Selene! That was the one empress involved with Kaelin, right? Pride and Rider. An image and oil of the last pure Anderfell stabled at court before the practice of mounted sport fell from favor. This is an absolutely iconic and typical example of the artist. The work preserves the true majesty of a species that, while in abundance on their natural plains, becomes exotic to a people who eschew mounted travel in their daily existence. An ambitious work often referred to as Pride and Rider. It is a part of a series of similarly themed canvases which, for reasons known only to the creator, were labeled and went the griffin. The, the extinct griffin? Auction notes. Hmm. They're just random treasures. Is this place, does it have a name? Yeah, it seems like some kind of like a um, storage, treasury storage location. Let's get to the vault as quickly as possible. There is a guard. There is a guard. Just one? Can I hit him? Okay, they don't always get pissed. I wanted to knock him out. Whoa, dude, there's a guy looking right at me. I turned around. Cursed rats. Oh god. Hold it right there. Oh. Fine. She's. It's fine, it's fine. There's no penalty to this, right? It's just having to do it again. I'm guessing this person. No harm done. We whack this person. What was that scrabbling noise? Literally nothing. It's not just the area of red. Not going to happen. Oh my gosh. Damn blackouts keeping me off patrol. What was that? Oh shoot, there's a chest there. For Legion Guard Captain, Balcony Key. Uh I want the chest, but I don't wanna Alright, we're good. Uncertainty! It's all a set. Uncertainty, skepticism, anxiety. Plus one XP gain. Enemies drop better equipment and better coin. Oh, I'm not. I want stuff that increases my attack. Shoot. Oh, jeez. Okay, I just saved. Are you trying to get caught on purpose? I'm gonna go back there because I don't want to do all that again. Quick thinking, huh? Damn blackouts, keeping me off patrol. Just gotta wait for them to um, go back the other way. Damn blackouts, keeping me off patrol. This is the shadows. We're in the shadows. Move already, damn you! That should do it. Quickly over here. Oh. 
I can't even this run. We're here? Raven Feather. Just random junk. Careful. We don't want to bring the Duke's entire army down on us. <laughs> Too late for that. It's never as easy as it seems, is it? I swear I didn't know. There must be some sort of switch. Switch party members. Hawk and Talos must activate the floor switches in this room simultaneously to progress. Left click on a character's portrait or left click on the character directly to switch party members now. Do they really think I made it this far in the game without knowing that though? Like, <laughs> hold up. So what opened? What changed? Okay, I'm not seeing what changed right now, so I'm gonna look around with Hawk first. So maybe what happens here is... Right. Can I go forward? Like that. Topple statue. Wow. Oh, okay. That's kind of smart, I suppose. No. We gotta get each other back out. You gotta do the same thing. They made this elaborate trap, but put a damn statue there that ruined everything. Good job, guys. Oh, I got... You gotta get me out first, Talus. Which involves what? Do I have to stand here? Are you good, Talus? Wait, how am I gonna get... Wait, hold up. This? Did I just come out... Ooh, now I'm... Hold up. Oh yeah, there's a lot. A lot of stuff going on here. Oh, this is okay. That does nothing. This is for the chest. Thank you. Mark of Bravery. Cracked Snowflake Obsidian. Medallion. This was Anika the Red's medallion. Was it red hair? Bad temper? Or just too much sun, I wonder? Too much sun? Red? <laughs> like a sunburn. Mm. Same deal over here. Except how do we get that first gate open? You're not even opening this one, whereas over there you did. Don't just stand around, Hawk. We gotta figure this out. Because I want that chest. And I want it right now. Well, probably someone's gotta stand here. Just gotta figure out where Talus has gotta stand. Is it up here? Oh. Oh, huh, this one's a little different. Wait, what? I came here for no reason? I can't touch this. There's a raven feather, but that's, uh, I can't even touch it. Alright, okay, well. I guess that was all for nothing then. Why did I do all that? You gotta help me back out, Hawk. Thank you. Okay, now we focus on the actual thing in the middle here. Is that good enough? No. Things are moving. You can hear it, I just don't see at all what it is. I have no idea what I pressed. It didn't seem to be... Yeah, like the order seemed to matter. I'm not sure if I really figured out the... 
the steps at the very end, though. But we... we did it. <laughs> okay, well, cool. Oh, now this is okay. Or lesion gloves. Hmm. More? No. That's it. Okay, let's go, Talus. Something wrong. I don't know. Oh no. Yes. Don't fret, my dear. Yes, this qualifies as wrong. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I knew it. You did? We We've did been it? acting strangely ever since we arrived. Clever girl. Have you also deduced that your elven friend is Cunari? What? Like one of those elves that went over and believed the Kun? Wait, so she's a rogue, a rogue being an assassin. What's so what's so surprising about that? Assassin isn't killing somebody though, right? So that part might be the weird part because she doesn't seem willing to kill people. You're Kunari. It's complicated. Okay, well you don't look Kunari. I assume Talis has her reasons. My, she chose you well, didn't she? Look, I came to stop the heart from doing something we will all regret. She didn't. Leave her out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here before the heart's arrival? Don't be foolish. It's not here. Asse hasatra mas. Mas avas traso kolon. What? Take them away. Is that guy also Kunari? Everybody's speaking Kunari now? Besides me? The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. Well, there you what go then. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. Wait, what do you mean by kill one of her own people? The Duke is Kunari? When the Duke told you what I was, you said you didn't care. Was that true? This could potentially be a little bit more complicated after the whole Aeroshock business. I know we're kind of on vacation right now, but that did just happen. So... Yes, but you're lucky, because I don't... I... I like you fine. You could have told me the truth. I might have listened. And what if you didn't? I suppose we'll never know. I am sorry. This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan, exactly? The one I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the Heart of the Many. That's not a jewel. he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... Suppose I was misinformed. So there's no jewel? You mentioned the heart of the many before, but you said it was the name of the jewel. It's also what Ben Hasrith means. Some people say we're enforcers that keep the Kunari in line, but that's not it. It's hard to explain. Try. We're the soul of the Kuhn. We keep its spirit alive and protect it from both outside and from within. Not every Kinari agrees, nor do they always do what is best for all. The Ben Hasrath remind us of our common goal. I'm not sure I'm fully understanding here, but okay. You make them seem almost peaceful. It's not always meant to end in violence. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. I probably don't sound very convincing. The way you're talking, it sounds like 
You're one of these Ben Hasraf. I am, or I was. Whether I ever am again, I guess that remains to be seen. Is that why you're here? To redeem yourself? Not to them. Doubt is the path one walks to reach faith. To leave the path is to embrace blindness and abandon hope. Another Kunari proverb? She who swallows wisdom in tiny chunks avoids choking. She's very different from what we, from everything we know of what Kunari are. So everything you told me was a lie? Not everything. So I just missed the part where you're one of the people I drove out of Kirkwall. Mm. You don't need horns to embrace the Kuhn. What you need is a purpose, a belief in unity, in improving the lot, not only for your own people, but for everyone. Except the Kunari just attacked Kirkwall and killed a whole bunch of people. Just being three years ago. You sound like you actually believe that. I do. Nobody is controlling my mind. I'm not insane. Being Kunari doesn't automatically mean you're a zealot. Most Kunari don't even understand humans, why you act like you do. But I grew up among you. I understand perfectly well. Oh, I thought she might have grown up among the Kunari or something, because... What are her origins like? She doesn't have any of those Dalish tattoos. So she started as a city elf then? And then was exposed to the Kuhn somehow? Wait. Aren't you here to kill someone for the Kunari? I never said I was killing him for the Kunari. So you're improving his lot? Perhaps repeatedly? I know it's not easy to understand. After what the Aeroshock did, I hardly blame you. But just tell me, can you honestly say there's nothing to improve? Nothing to strive for? We believe in striving together. We may stumble, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Sure. So are you killing the guy or not? You're gonna do something else? I don't disagree. It's who I am. I joined the Ben Hasras because I felt it meant something. M means something. You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone about it. I suppose it's not really a prison cell conversation. So did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Montfort family. And you're also Basili An, remember? An outsider worthy of respect. You know about that? Of course. If there was anyone a Kinari should or would consider going to for help, it's you. Yeah, I don't hate the Kunari, that's true. And what was going to happen when all this was over? I thank you, we go our separate ways. Really? I wouldn't notice a thing? Truth? You're... not exactly what I was expecting. I've heard a few stories about you. They don't quite do you justice. Thank you. Perhaps if I'd done my homework, I would have known more about you. Given you the respect you deserve. Nothing I could do about it now. So you were disrespecting me the whole time then? I think we did this one already. So you came here to stop this elite from betraying your people? You probably won't believe no. me, but this isn't a political mission. It's... personal. What do you mean? Salit was my best Rathari. The one who recruited me into the Ben Hasrith. My tutor. He's the one who saw my potential. Convinced me that I could make a difference. It doesn't matter now. But you said he was selling secrets. He is. Or at least he intends to. One last act of defiance. I can't let him do that. Not when he'll hurt so many others in the process. You mean he'll hurt other Kunari? Not every Kunari is a soldier, you know. There are tens of thousands of farmers, artisans, craftsmen. People who have never hurt anyone. People whose only crime is living. They don't deserve what he's going to do to them. But it's more than my duty to stop Salit. It is my moral obligation. 
I assume you have some sort of plan. I always have a plan. A good one? Oh, ye of little faith. <sighs> the first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? We didn't come here alone, remember? 